You know, game theory really got its start with my love of Mythbusters. I wanted to create a show where I could put to the test all the things that I was seeing in video games here in real life. And I got to do that a couple years into the history of the show with projects like Game Lab, with projects like Reality Check. And we did them, and they were awesome, but man, was it a lot of work. And it was super expensive, right? So we decided to put it off to the side and just, hey, that was a fun little period in the channel's history. But now here we are in the middle of my final 10 episodes on the channel, and I'm like, you know what? Let's take a moment to bring it back. So we decided to partner with World of Tanks and bring it back to where it really all began, to the first ever episode of that format. We are here in the middle of Texas, Uvalde, Texas to be specific, at RiveTanks.com, where today we're gonna test one major question. Can playing a video game actually make a bunch of noobs into professional tank drivers? And even more importantly, can they then successfully fire the gun? So for one final time, guys, welcome to reality check! Do you have your hearing protection on? Of course I do, I'm not a complete idiot. At this time, you're clear to fire. Three, two, one. <laughs> now, to put this whole thing to the test, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. That's why I reached out and found myself the team of experts that can't be replaced. Bring them on in! Oh, you thought I meant experts in driving tanks? No, I need experts in theorizing. Come on in, guys. Hey, Yay! Let's go! I, I see yeah, you literally wait, every day. Hey, I know. <laughs> you are, you are However, awesome. it's been six years! <laughs> oh, no, hey, how's right? it going, buddy? Oh, I'm so little! Long time no see. <laughs> oh, man. And you, you live down the street. How you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> how are you guys? I am in surviving. Time. Most importantly, the three of you in the middle. The other two, I get, I get a lot of. I got a lot of. GG, congratulations on the new channel. Dude, yeah. I'm, dude, it's it's been a, a week long of being psyched for that, and then this, and then you, and then all this, and I'm just like, yes! Yeah. Oh Meanwhile, Drake, you've evolved from trailer Drake to comic Drake. Yeah, been doing comic Drake for 10 years now, this year. Wow. That's, that, mm -hmm. has, that's crazy. Yeah, right. This is crazy long. So old. <laughs> I'm starting to gray. Yeah, right, yeah, we're getting gray. Yeah, going old. I've been going gray since before YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Get a lot of YouTube bragging just made it worse. There. Well, you're all excited? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm super pumped. 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never super mind, pumped. it's fine. I'm not excited at all. This is very boring, the idea of shooting tanks. Yeah, tanks. So uh, for the last week, I have asked these guys to train up in World of Tanks. They've done it, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yes, Professor. Well, no one can be as excited as Goomba is. <laughs> <laughs> like that dude has been bouncing off the walls all day for this. Yeah. So. My first ever meme was tank, 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 tank. I mean, come on. He's excited. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are all set. You're feeling good about your world of tanks training. Absolutely. Yep. Fantastic. So they're all warmed up. I'm warmed up. Let's get you warmed up about World of Tanks. Let's go, guys. Woo! All right. Let's do it! And honestly, I can think of no better person to catch you up on the brief history of World of Tanks than Foot of a Ferret himself, former host of A Brief History here on the channel, Ryder. Thanks, Matt. So, while you might know it from its ads and its sponsorships here on YouTube in recent years, World of Tanks has actually been around since 2010. Developed for the PC by Wargaming. It's a very apt name for a development studio that focuses on tanks. Don't interrupt me. World of Tanks puts you in command of over 800 different tanks from across the last hundred years and places you into tactical battles from real historical locations. You're climbing steep hills, sneaking through forests, and tearing across deserts, all in your trusty tank boys. And since then, World of Tanks has grown into a massive free cross-platform experience. Which, by the way, you can go and download today using the link in the description as well as the code Game Theory. In short, World of Tanks prides itself on realism of tank combat, and that goes beyond just picking out the right munitions and hiding your weak spots. It's also about your crew. You can't just have a good driver and hope to win. No, you also need a fast weapons loader, precise gunner, technically savvy radio operator, and of course, a strong commander that will lead you to victory. It's a crossover of talent that'll ensure that you have the best chance of winning at the end of the day. See what I did there? Ah, oh, it's so good to have you back, Drake. So, as you can see, World of Tanks isn't just about fulfilling the fantasy of driving big vehicles and blowing stuff up, so that is really cool. It's a tactical experience, all about understanding your crewmates and how these giant vehicles work. 
which is why the realism of all this is so important. If you don't understand how the vehicles operate, well, it's gonna mean disaster for both you and your crew. And that brings us to why we're here today. You see, I've designed a little bit of an experiment for all of our guests that's gonna put a lot of things to the test. But to fully break it down, I'm gonna toss it off to Lee, our breakdown expert. Lee! I got this, Matt. We're all going to be split up into three teams of two. We've got Team Comics with Drake and myself, Team History with Ryder and Goomba, and Team Science with Austin and Matt. Over the past week or so, each pair of us has been playing a different version of World of Tanks. Team Comics is on PC, Team Science has been playing the console version, and then you've got Team History, who have spent the last week playing the console version, but with a twist. Both Xbox and PlayStation offer a service called Remote Play, where so long as you have an internet connection, you can connect to your console remotely and play on your phone or tablet. And because we wanted a wider variety, we got them to play exclusively using their phones to see whether they could keep up with the likes of mainstream consoles or the obviously superior PC. And so, now that everyone's played for 20 hours, we're throwing them into tanks and forcing them to go head-to-head -head in two separate competitions. The first is a driving test, where one member from each team is going to drive the tank through a carefully designed obstacle course. The second round will happen at the shooting range, where each team will be responsible for aiming and firing at a set of targets. Highest accuracy wins. Now, I know this might seem like a bit of a wild experiment. There's no way that playing a video game can train someone to drive 25 tons of pure military power, right? Well, that's what you might think, but there's actually some interesting science behind it. Did someone say SCIENCE? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. But uh, Matt is right. The science here is fascinating. We all know what dopamine is, right? It's the happy hormone. When you do something you enjoy, you get a nice hit of dopamine that makes you feel really good. I'm also sure that most of you that have played video games would say that you feel good while playing them, especially if it's a game you really enjoy. However, dopamine is more than just a happiness hormone. It also plays a major role in your ability to learn. In 2001, a study was conducted on rats where one of the rats had their dopamine neurons stimulated while listening to a specific audio tone, and the other group just listened to the tone with no stimulation. They found that the rats with dopamine dopamine neurons stimulated had better recall of the tone than their sadder counterparts. Basically, dopamine helps you learn, which is why you tend to do better in school if you enjoy the subject more, or do better at your job if you actually enjoy your work, because the dopamine that you receive helps to expand your brain chemistry. And all the way back in 1998, they proved that the amount of dopamine you get from playing video games can match that of someone injecting amphetamines directly into your bloodstream. That is a crazy amount of dopamine. And it doesn't stop there, because in later years it was shown to be the case in humans too. Since then, there has been study after study showing the effects of video games on both your physical and mental skills, like helping to improve attention and spatial awareness in children and improving hand-eye coordination in the elderly. Heck, video games are now being used to train surgeons how to operate, and probably most important for our purposes today, to give soldiers the chance to practice driving and aiming big military vehicles. I mean, if it works for a crew of soldiers, theoretically it should be able to work for a bunch of top-tier games gamers like us, right? Guess we're about to find out. So really, this isn't just a competition between six gamers, it's a test to see how video games can teach us. Can that sweet, sweet dopamine we get from playing games actually prepare us to execute on the real thing? Uh, but before we start throwing these guys into tanks, we should probably learn a little bit more about the tanks themselves, which is why we're gonna be talking to Tommy from DriveTanks.com. Tommy, yes, thanks for you. joining us today. Uh, Tommy, tell us a little bit about yourself. I've been working with tanks for right around five years. I've been with DriveTanks.com for roughly three and a half years and I've been working on military vehicles say from all the end of World War One all the way to modern day or as modern as we can be as the government allows us to be. <laughs> what secret stuff do you have? That uh, no, nothing, no, nothing at all. No, no, absolutely nothing. Don't worry about it. We all play games. We all understand how like first person shooters and war shooters and this and that work but actually being able to operate these things in real life and understand how they work is fundamentally different, mm -hmm. right? So even down to the basic question, when we hop into that tank, mm -hmm. Are we driving it with like a steering wheel? Is it levers? What, Good question. What is it? So it depends on the, the the nation of origin, also the time. So for instance, like your T-34 and your Sherman, two very famous tanks from World War II, they both drive with what we call tillers or steering sticks. You know, make your left turn, you turn, you pull left, you make a right turn, you pull right. Um, but then you have other tanks like the famous Tiger tank actually turns with a steering wheel. We would actually wind up driving the West German Leopard, which used steering wheel and pedals, making it a whole heck of a lot easier. What is the top speed of a tank? So it depends on the tank. So the 
top speed of a tank, the Guinness Book World Records, is actually the Scorpion tank, which tops out right around 55 miles an hour. Okay. Um, now, World War II tanks, they weren't going as fast, and the reason why is because you had to shoot accurately. And if you're going, say, 30 miles an hour and your gun barrel's bouncing up and down, you know you can't shoot accurately. Yeah, uh, might not sound all that fast, but some of us were feeling a bit apprehensive. So, I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I among all of us know what it is to be a gaming expert, but <laughs> all of us see very gaming. When you see it in person, yeah. If it all goes out. What exactly am I going to be expecting in terms of like training? So for training, so say for modern tank training, you'd go to tank school, which is basically you're taught every aspect of the machine, right? You're taught how to drive, you're taught how to gun. Now in World War II, you would also have tank school. Granted, it was a lot more rushed, right? You know, it'd be right around two to three months and then you're basically going out in the field and you're learning as you go. And then also in World War II, and you also see this in the movie Fury, where there'd be cases where one of you guys would be injured and they'd just take a random guy and they'd throw him in. So and that's that, basically us today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. After a week of training, we got this. Good. W week of playing a video game and like 10 minutes talking to Tommy. We're feeling good? Ready to go. Okay. Well, let's go meet our tank then. Okay. All right. Also, here, hold, hold it. Right, right, right. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to call this out while they get prepared. Oh. Who am I talking to? You? 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 Hello. Talking to you. <laughs> so, uh, Ryder, just for the people at home. Yeah. How many times have you driven a car? Uh, maybe like eight. <laughs> eight total? Mo that, that might be generous. That might be an overestimate? That might be generous. And most of it was like 10 years ago when I was getting my license like two years late. So <laughs> last year, I, I taught Ryder how to ride a bike for the first time in his life. <laughs> I like that I've just skipped the whole driving process and now we're just yeah. gonna throw you in a tank. Life comes at you fast. Okay, here it, is. here it is. The tank's all revved up. It's time to start the experiment. We're team number one, team science. Wait, team science? We're team, team comics. One, two, three, catchphrase. There was also team history, but uh, Ryder was so nervous that he actually forgot to record the intro. Though to be fair, when I got into the tank, I was feeling the same way. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm groping around in the darkness and there is a wheel and I think there's a gas pedal. I don't know if there's a brake pedal. We're gonna find out together. It actually took me another three minutes of groping around in the dark before I found that break. Anyway, once I had a handle on the pedals, I got over that nervousness very quickly. Woo! Grab a tank! Let's go! And just like that, we were off. It was so loud, you basically couldn't hear anything we were saying. That and we were trying desperately not to crash. But this course was full of twists and turns, hills and dips, really showing off what the tank was capable of. Oh, that's so easy! expect a tank to be heavy and slow, but in reality, it was light and super nimble. In fact, it was probably one of the smoothest rides I'd ever been on. All the suspension in this thing, coupled with the treads, made it feel like you were floating on a cloud. After surviving a dip into a small river, going up the banks, and getting some pretty good speed, Team Science was wrapped. Woo! That's it, baby. Oh yeah, easy every time. Look at that parking job. There you go. Yes! That was awesome. Now, they told us that the course would probably take us about 8 to 15 minutes to complete. What they didn't realize was that we're a super competitive group. I managed to complete the course in 6 minutes and 44 seconds. Even Ryder, despite being cautious and nearly coming off the track several times, he managed to beat that time with a solid 7 minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ryder! But of course, every group has that one guy who's got to push it just a little bit further, even further than the experts were expecting. Oh my god! Let it rip Drake certainly lived up to the name. I didn't realize that this was possible with a vehicle this heavy, but Drake actually caught air. They were figuratively, and sometimes even literally, flying around the course, coming in with the scorching time of 5 minutes and 49 seconds. Two whole minutes faster than the experts predicted any of us would be able to do it in, putting them in a solid first place. And we're gonna give them three points for that win, leaving Team Science and Team History in second and third place with two and one point respectively. But despite the competition, when it comes to whether a video game can teach 
teach you how to drive a tank? I'd have to say yes. Though to be fair, the system was so easy that if you've ever driven a golf cart, you'd be able to do it too. Just look at Ryder. I think we're all winners as far as that round goes. Yes. yes. But technically, more winners than others. the official winners are uh, Team Comics. Thank you. Thank you. I did all the work. Yes. 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 Catch know. race. Okay. Catch race indeed. Congratulations. Ryder, you have yes. successfully poke evolved into Driver. Nice and slow. And now we move on to shooting the tanks, yes? Yeah. Oh. So now it's time for us to see who has the best aim. For safety reasons, we couldn't just hop in and start firing off the tank like you would in World of Tanks, but we did manage to devise a system that would allow us to aim and fire the tank safely. First, we wouldn't be using explosive shells, as they're much harder to control, much more dangerous, obviously, and also the US government wouldn't let us have them. Can't imagine why. As if I'm not on enough government watch lists at this point. Instead, for the test, we'd be using solid shells, which are exactly what they sound like, shells made out of solid steel. Can I touch it? Yeah, go ahead. So, pick it up. That's awesome. Can I take it home with me? Uh, that I would. <laughs> Just in case. CSA. I would love to see you see. Oh my gosh, it's so much heavier than you expected. Here, try it out. Oh, okay. It's a bunch of steel. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> it's a heavy boy. So it's going to be hooked up to another case. So we'll put the oh, two okay. inside the tank and then we'll load them together as one uh -huh. piece. Um, but the projectiles themselves, they will go down range, bury themselves, and we'll probably never see them again. Bowling Just because they're so in. buried in the ground. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. We would then help load the cannon and direct the crew on how to aim the shot. Two cranks down. Two cranks down. And then one crank crank to the right. Okay, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Once everything was ready and safe, we'd fire the tank using a rip cord from outside, which was meant to protect us from any potential ammo jams or backfires. Finally, what are we aiming at? Can't exactly fire at another expensive tank from the 1900s, can we? No, instead we have ourselves a wall of trucks that just so happen to be sitting in a very familiar location. I recognize that we're at the Mr. Beast mound, of all things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're following in the footsteps of greatness, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> this right here? where good old Jimmy Beast also fires his tanks. Not all that surprising when it's one of the two places in America that you're allowed to fire tanks. In fact, a lot of YouTubers have been in this place recently. Go figure. Any tips that we need to know that those other guys didn't know? What can you tell us that you can't tell Mr. Beast? Mm, oh, no, see, I can't, I can't say that. <laughs> so we've got ourselves our wall of trucks. Now we'll be ranking each of the shots based on accuracy. Three points for first place, two points for second, and one for third. If you miss, you get zero. And with that out of the way... All right, are you ready? I, I, as ready as I can. <laughs> I've never shot a gun of any kind, of any size before. Well, this is so a good going straight for the big stuff. Right, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> How, how's your aim? Pretty bad. <laughs> Great. <laughs> We need I have no idea. We'll ground. find out when I pull the ripcord. You know, it actually has like a manual crank where really? you're like, it, it's not like electronic at all. We, we've got to beat Lee and Drake. What are the points for this? How if, are we scoring if it? If you hit it, you get 100 points. I better get 100 points. Okay, we, we better get 100 points. All right, you're clear to load. Loading. All right, awesome. is everyone good? At this time, you're clear to fire. All right, three, two, one, fire in the hole. <laughs> Did it miss? <laughs> that was awesome. That freaking rule, man. Was that was awesome. My like heart is. I can racing. feel it in my whole body. It was like a concussive and it blast. It smelled like sulfur. It was beautiful. Oh, I. I so much would smoke. do that again. Well, I think it's these guys. Like, it, that, it was all right. <laughs> all right. Did all you right. see that? Listen. He sniped the back window. Yeah, and he didn't right hit through. anything. Yeah. He hit the window. That's hitting the thing. Uh -huh. didn't hit. Listen, we co we've coordinated on this. We consulted professionals in World of Tanks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we are going to hit that truck. A couple cranks to the left, one yeah. up. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, you feel good about your shot? A couple cranks down, one to the right. That's what mm -hmm. we did. Okay. Well, good luck. Good luck, man. Good luck. Thank you so much. We beat you once. We beat you again. All right, at this time, you're clear to fire. All right, three, two, one. There you go. Go, let's go. What? They didn't hit, you, you didn't hit anything. Listen. You didn't hit anything. Listen. <laughs> what happened to that great aim? Yeah, well, listen, we okay, won the race. You. We have to highlight all the former theorists. Or we're so awesome that we threaded the needle and we're even cooler than them. That was it. What? Yes, yeah, that one. Yeah, I think that it's, one. It's like the Robin Hood arrow through an arrow. Yeah, I think it's, it's even exactly. more important. We're playing a game of horse. But it's even cooler because it's a tank. Yeah. Yes. Ryder, what, what do you got? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared to stand next to this thing right now. I, I don't think like, Goomba's scared. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah Goomba like, I'm, I, was supposed, I was supposed to come up here with him, but he's already up there. No. I'm ready, man. He's with his baby right now. Are you like now. testing the wind? 
finger in the air. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm guiding, I'm guiding the barrel right to the dead. I want to go dead center through the passenger door, dead center. I don't believe I want My to man see is it. in his element right now. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> are you gonna be standing up here, Ryder? I, I think I'm supposed to. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, so. well, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Oh, I shake your hand, it. but I'm too oh high God. up, man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> GG, GG. <laughs> uh, do you have your hearing protection on? Of course I do. I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> good job. I did the driving, and I thought I conquered tanks, but as soon as that first one went off, I was like, no, 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 no. That knocked me off my, off my feet. All right, at this time, you're clear to fire. Three, two, one, fire the hole! Oh. Oh. Was that not the best thing ever? It was so huge! That was the most insane thing yeah. ever. Like, Did you feel that blast? That was that was by far the biggest blast oh, that we've had so of any good. of these. Nice, nice shot! shot. Right. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> Dead. Yes, he is definitely dead. <laughs> and with that, we should probably tally up those final scores. This was a competition after all. So I think it's clear to say that Team History won the shooting round, so that's three points for them. Team Comics, on the other hand, barely managed to scrape the frame of the car. So we're putting them in third place with one point, which leaves Team Science in second place with two. I maintain that the shot through the window is a pretty impressive shot, though I can't deny the solid hit that Goomba was able to do on the body of that car. So I'm gonna be happy with the two. That then means that the scores at the end of all of this are tied. Fours across the board for all of us. I guess that's nice. So despite the game's accuracy to crew breakdowns, speed, and mobility, doesn't seem like it had that much effect on our overall performance. No one gaming platform stood out, and that makes sense when you think about it. Driving a tank is very similar to just driving a car. You have pedals, you have a wheel, you have a big old crank for aiming. Well, I guess I don't have that in a car, but it's not hard to figure out. So just like driving, it's a very physical activity, which means that getting better is less about mental stimulation and much more about muscle memory. By repeating the same actions over and over again, you activate the same neural pathways repeatedly. Eventually, your brain just gets so used to doing that action, it more or less becomes subconscious. And it's in those moments that you're able to react faster and push the speed because your body just intuitively understands what it's supposed to be doing. Playing on a phone, a controller, a keyboard, it's not really going to give you that muscle memory to be able to transfer the skill. If anything, your confidence as a car driver, that's the thing that's going to help you more than playing a game. But here's the thing, Matt. Very soon, that may not be the case. Well, what do you mean, Gigi? Well, you see, there's a brand new breed of tank on the horizon. And rather than using all the levers, pedals, and steering wheels that we use today, this guy instead uses a simple Xbox controller. Yeah, that's right. A 35 ton piece of machinery is controlled by this. And if you take a look at the inside, you'll realize there's no windows, just a bunch of cameras and monitors, racer chairs and headsets. It's literally a military grade gamer paradise. But what's even more interesting is that it allows for a buildup of that crucial muscle memory. In fact, when prototypes were tested with young adults from Gen Z, they found that what would have taken days of real training in a traditional tank took these gamers just four hours. But most importantly of all, it's just safer. While we all had fun driving around these giant machines for the day, war isn't fun. It's serious business with real human lives at stake. And tools like this, controlling a drone tank like you would a video game, well, it helps keep human lives out of the line of fire when people are forced to engage in any form of necessary conflict. Thanks for that, Goomba. Very well said. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, our long day of shooting tanks has come to a close. I gotta ask, what did we all learn here today? Starting with Drake, go for it. I learned that we all need to hang out more often if we're gonna be doing this. I learned that I like tanks far too much. <laughs> far too much. Yeah, that's this, is a, this is an absolute heaven. I'm so thankful you brought me out of here for course, this, man. I learned that actually aiming a tank is way harder than yeah. I thought it would be and that it is in a video game. I learned to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down for us. What yes. is it? I learned that World of Tanks is an excellent video game that you should go download right now. The link is in the description. <laughs> That's true. Hashtag spawn. So thank you so much to World of Tanks. Thank you to drivetanks.com. But most importantly, thank you to you guys. Oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, thank so you great. for not just coming in today, but also for 13 years. Of course. Oh, good seeing you, man. So good seeing you. Hey, how about we do this again? Not for content. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Huh? Yeah, for real. Make it a little yearly thing. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And uh, with that, I think we can successfully say that World of Tanks has gotten itself a reality check. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory! Thanks for watching! <laughs> got him! I got you! Got it. That was good.
A huge thank you once again to World of Tanks for sponsoring this episode of Reality Check. Without them, it literally wouldn't have been possible to come down here and do such a fun, crazy experiment. Remember, you can download the game right now for free using the link down in the description below. Plus, World of Tanks wasn't satisfied just revitalizing this old show, they also had a special deal just for you theorists. If you register for an account and use the invite code Game Theory, you can get yourself some special in-game rewards to widen your experience right off the bat. You get the British Cromwell B Tank, 250,000 credits in the game, and seven days of premium access, plus a bunch of other tanks that you can rent for 10 battles each at no extra charge. And now if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to go back behind my desk where I probably belong. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week.